This video is a follow-up to a video I did on the Chrysler 62 TE automatic transmission changing the solenoid pack. So if you have not seen that video, you may want to watch that first. This is the solenoid pack and I already removed the screws so I'm going to go ahead and open it. These are the terminals for the solenoid. This is nothing but just a coil wound around uh, iron core and becomes an electromagnet when it's energized and that will open or close the solenoid. So when you test for a resistance measurement, you should get a resistance. You know, you're not supposed to get infinity. If you get infinity, that means the coil is broken. And um, if the resistance is way out of range, that means the solenoid is bad because it's either not going to have enough force to pull, you know, if the resistance is too high. Starting with the line pressure, which should be 4.9 ohms. It's actually 5.2, which is still acceptable. Next, the direct clutch, 1.6, which is still acceptable. Next, overdrive, 1.6. Underdrive, 1.6. One point seven two four one point seven and the low clutch one point six now for the information that you've been waiting for how do I know which solenoid is which from the terminal here. Well, if you look at it, they have these little contact right here. And when you close it, the solenoid pack, see that it goes right, these terminals go right in the slot, in these slots right here. And that's how they make the connection. And then it comes up in here so you can check these the individual solenoids from you know from this terminal one terminal from each solenoid is connected to pin 10 this is this pin right here this is where the transmission control module sends positive 12 volts when the other terminal of each solenoid receives ground, that's when the solenoid is activated. The line pressure variable for a solenoid receives ground from pin 12. So to check the resistance of this solenoid, you would test between pin 12 and pin 10. The direct clutch solenoid receives ground from pin 20. So to check the resistance of this solenoid, you would test between pin 20 and pin 10. The overdrive clutch received ground from pin 19. So to check this solenoid, you would check between pin 19 and pin 10. The underdrive solenoid received ground from pin 7. So to check this solenoid, you would check between pin 7 and pin 10. The low slash reverse received ground from pin 2. So to check the resistance of this solenoid, you would check between pin 2 and pin 10. The 2 slash 4 solenoid received ground from pin 21. So to check this solenoid, you would check between pin 21 and pin 10. The low clutch received ground from pin 17. So to check the resistance of this solenoid, you would check between pin 17 and pin 10. Note that 
the same terminal that's connected to pin 10 is also connected to pin 11, 14, 15, 16, and 18. These are low level sensor control. They tell, or I should say, they pick up the signal to tell the status of the solenoids, whether it's stuck open or stuck closed, you know, it basically detects the pressure. And um, this is how the transmission control module know if the solenoid is malfunctioning. And the resistance measured between pin 10 and all these five terminals is 200 and roughly 280 ohms. Finally, not because you get the correct resistance as stated by the manufacturer mean that everything is good because you could have a solenoid that have intermittent problems where it only act up when it's warm or you know or it's only act up when it's cold you know or it just act up whenever it feels like another thing is you can have the sensor the sensing circuit part of it can be an issue also where it's telling the transmission control module that the solenoid is bad, but it's really not bad. And this is an, as an example of this is if your transmission fluid is dirty, you know, and say it's not going through these little tiny pores, so it's reading incorrect pressure. And um, there could be a problem with that also.